my grandparents moved here in the 50s from Malta uh, during the war and uh, was, I was born here, parents had been born here and the um, whole family pretty much came out of this house so yeah. Going to school, you, um, there's a lot of different types of people which is, which is interesting because you kind of get to notice everyone's angle on things and how, how a lot of people, like a lot of different people just work together. Um, different races, different like um, financial status and whatnot, and it, it's it's just yeah, it, it's full on, it's great, yeah. Ever since a young age, like travelling the trains with with mum, at, you know, an early age, you'd see the trains go by. This is nineties and full of colour on the sides, and you'd just be in awe and like, oh, how do people do this and what does it mean? And it's just a big game and. And then like slowly as I get older and you get into the scene, you're kind of noticing this person there and this person there. Dudes who have been called the King of Melbourne in the graffiti scene come from St Albans. It has a lot of history, but a lot of people kind of don't really know it. Growing up on the West, it's its own different ball game. I know in terms of graffiti, there's not many people, so, so all the people who do do it just really kind of come together and like there's a little bit of arguments here and there it's mostly just petty stuff but apart from that like you know you get a crew that reps the west and they just go for it and they just smash it so yeah that's it in in st Ormonds, there's um you know maori people asian people have done it and these guys are like not talking about just petty tags these guys have you know produced murals like amazing artists and like it's it's not just for one sort of social like or you know one sort of race it's I don't know it's its own different race really the spot I painted into closest to the road and you know you drive past it and you're just like yeah bang St Albans like home sweet home kind of thing it's I know I just love having something that's that's like you know something I'm proud real proud of it's just my release and you know it's nothing compares to it for me so it's why I do it I don't do it to cause damage or whatnot I do it just, it's what I enjoy. Yeah, there's no other way to put it, really.